Okay, more decomposition. So we're given an f of x function and we want to decompose it into um, two different functions such that um, f of x is equal to g of h of x. Okay, so h now is the inside function and g is the outside function. So let's see what we can do with this first one. We have 2 times the quantity x plus 7, that whole quantity, to the fifth power. So probably the easiest thing to do on this one would be to um, just make g of x, that's the outside function, just 2x to the fifth, right? So the input is x and we're, keep, we're taking the input and taking it to the fifth power. So then if we make h of x equal to x plus 7, right, then, and then feed it into g of x, we'll end up with f of x which is what we want. All right. Let's look at the next one. Again, we want to decompose it. Now I'm seeing a square root function, and then I'm seeing an e to the x function in there too. So the e to the x is inside the square root. So there's probably a couple of different ways you could do this. So if I just make um, g of x equal to um, the square root of x, so that's the outside function, so just the square root of x. All right, then my h of x, the inside function, would have to be um, e, uh, well, let's see, e to the x plus y, right? And then I, that, I feed the h of x into the g of x, and I would end up with this, with the f of x that I want. Now, another way I could do it is if, you know, if I made the, um, the inside function, um, just e to the x, right? I could do it that way. And, but then my, um, my g of x function would have to be the square root of uh, x plus 1, right? And then um, if I replace the x with e to the x, I'll also get what, what I, what I, um, I'll get the f of x function. So I can do it either one of these ways. So it's either or, right? Um, and, um, so, but either one, either one of those, those answers would be correct. All right, I will meet you in the next video for example seven.